do duty boy. Uh, Nikunj, Nick, I used to call him Taklif, which I'll tell you about soon. So my first memory of was that road, that rough road where Vijay used to live. He used to chonga in one of those kiosks, he used to eat the cut and he just looked like this, you know, serious, scary guy in the leather jacket because I didn't know him that well then. Slowly we got to know each other, but uh, back then, because he's got, he's got an intense stare, he's got that angry nostrils. Now my memory for Duty Boy, why that name came about was that song, A Juneberg, A, a Juneberg. So we heard Duty Boy, or he heard Duty Boy, and he liked that in sound. We'll talk about how he likes phrases, sounds, and different things like that. So, from there, he was Duty Boy, Raja was Duty Boy. Now, Raja, nobody, ever, we, we hardly saw both of them apart. Raja would sit in the back seat, or on the ground, or in the back seat, most of the time. What a fluffy, cute little doggy dog. There were times we would chill at Nikunji's house and the, my first experience was I was chilling with Bob just on the bed talking about stuff and then steadily Raja starts humping my elbow. Looking dick is just rubbing against me like is this, is this okay? What's happening? He's like yeah don't, don't worry about it, just ignore it or push him away if it's bothering you. Let me tell you a story first. There was a band in the Kenya called Them Mushrooms. They were a very popular band. I just need you to keep that in your pocket for now, okay? So we talked about how he likes these wordings and every time I talk to him, he always gives me some magical words or phrases which I just can't remember because there's just so many, so amazing. Like I need to start making notes of them. His description of things or he'll use an alternate word which, which we've never used in ages, you know, things like that. Apinyoka comes to mind, I don't know why. Now we had an obsession with someone, a very beautiful woman. And we would always exchange notes, where did you see her last, what was she wearing, how did she look, this and that, and, 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 and. We even had a code word for her because we didn't want anyone else to know. This was in the starting days when we were on MSN Messenger. So we chatting, chatting, and I think Mithal was even in that group chat that time. So his description at some point those magical words came out again. Them mushrooms. <laughs> Yo, I didn't even see that one coming, man. Just the way he described it, man. Them mushrooms. It's looking lovely. Speaking of Mithal, Mithal is one of his main, main, mainest boys. Mithal is a very interesting character also. They have the same lots of skills and sound effects and whatnot. He used to like he used to tell me to do the ones I could do. My cheeks have just become so tight that even rapping has like, it's really messed up. I'll share a joke where I've implemented a lot of those sound effects. Link below. We formed a friendship over hanging out in parking lots. That was a big thing for all of us back then. Chewing the cart. And we really bonded because if you know Nick, he's, his heart is on his sleeve. He doesn't hide. He doesn't... He'll tell you like it is, and being a perfectionist, he's going to say it. After we became very close and everything, he went overseas. I got into, there was a time I was like, I had forgotten all my friends. I was just too, I was in, I was in a different uh, state of mind, let's just say. So we started chatting and we had this argument like a couple. Like, you don't care about me. It's like, no, you don't care about me. You have not messaged me. And yeah. So after all that, we made up. Things are back to normal. And uh, once he got back, he used to come pick me up for roundies. We would go to Kitasuru, Pax Kitasuru. Most probably go see Hamel Pesky, Hamel Lufthansa. Or just drive around ISK, all those areas. And that's where I gave him the nickname Taklif because being a perfectionist, he was playing um, Nelly Furtado's album, debut album, I think it was. And such amazing songs, everything. We were just enjoying it. But he kept tweaking. It's like, oh, the speaker's not perfect. It's not this way. It's not. I'm like, Taklif, Suche. No, Taklif, I don't know. It sounds like an Arabic word. And 
most probably a translation of uh, what's the bodha or some kind of motivations. One album I will connect to Duty Boy is Hot Shots by Shaggy. For a man who sings a lot about uh, lascivious activities, that I think the last four to five songs just spoke to me. And music has always spoken to me. It said either what I'm going through or it's just, I can't put it in words, man. But hey, love, uh, why me, Lord? Chica Bonita, Angel. They're just that album was just pure hits. Another one, surprisingly, I connect to Duty Boy is Fat of the Land, Prodigy. Because I didn't get a chance to buy it when I was in London. I had bought the other two albums. And I think that they were just releasing it then or whatever. But check this out. Previous Nemo's video, I already talked about this. And Shahil, thank you for finding that Ua song. But there's this one song which is driving me crazy. And I like... If you see my Excel sheet of all my songs and my lists and everything, I need to have the right names, the right remix title, everything. And I couldn't find this one for some reason. And I didn't know about Shazam. At that time, I don't think we were using it anyway. So I was at his house and I'm like, man, somehow this topic came up and he helped me find the name. So I was very happy. But, like I said, he says it like it is. He told me, like, he was upset. He's like, you're not even showing how happy you are, really. Like you've been looking for this title for years, you finally got it, and you just... But to tell you the truth, the song was Balearic Bill, Destination Sunshine, Tiesto Power Mix. And I was just thinking, what a strange name for such a gangster song. What a strange, strange name. Um, one of my favorite pictures is that seesaw. There's one where he is on the seesaw, and it's just, I love natural pics. When nobody is looking at the camera. I can't close this off without mentioning Nishma. A big, big personality in her. Not only her life, but everyone else's life. And I think it was just 10 days before the news went out. Where I had called him. And they both looked so happy. They're like, listen man, we're going traveling. We'll let you know everything. We're not going to say too much, but we'll kind of get in touch once things are done and whatnot. And then when the news hit, I, I kept messaging him. I'm like, you know, you were there for me when my mother died. And the way you were there for me, like, it was just perfect. You're just like, I'll take you where you want to go. You don't even need to talk to me. Just tell me what you want. Or just, you want to cry, you want to laugh, you want whatever you want. Just, I'm here. And I really wish I could have been there for you, bro. So rest in peace to Nishma. Like I've told you bro, she's living through you now. Whatever you admired of her, you have to live it now for her. That's how I live my mom's, for whoever I loved. Back to some other memories. Uh, if you talk to Nick, there are times where I don't have the energy. I don't have... But just listening to him, just talking to him, the way he talks. He's got that, that fire, that extra... You know that uh, there's five agnis in the body. He's got that stomach agni to talk. When he talks, he's, he's got that power in it. He's got the steam in it, man. Just always, always feel like it's a good. It's going to be a good conversation. It's going to have some good energy. Where, where? Oh, oh! All these sounds, man. Just, just give me hope. <laughs> it's strange, but. That's how I feel. And uh, yeah, man, duty boy. I know you would rather I give you handal, but I'm giving you flowers for this one. I love you, brother. Catch you soon. We really loved this one song, Mary Mary Shackles by Mary Mary. I think he loved the part which goes, Mary, Mary. We used to love pumping that one. Now, there was a time we, when we used to go clubbing. One of the nights we uh, we stopped over at Emil Pesky's house for pre-drinks and chilling and whatever. And the next thing you know, uh, Nikunj is rubbing bread on his face. <laughs> what is happening? And he likes, he enjoys these little things like, you know, textures and sounds. Or He really 
he'll share it with you. So he gave me that bread and he's like, rub it, just feel it. I'm like, yeah, man. That's why it feels so nice on your face. You're just doing things in that moment. It tells you so much more than just this. Look at me in my same face, in every same picture. Yeah. If you admit, get the shackles off my feet so I can dance. I just want to please you. I just want to praise you. <laughs>